astronomers are trying to gather information about a comet passing Earth. There are things in space that should not exist. A new visitor from the interstellar void named 3I Atlas is one of them. This is the third uh, interstellar object, uh, in other words, uh, an object that came from outside the solar system. On the surface, it looks like any other comet, a massive chunk of ice and rock. But what NASA's infrared telescopes just found buried inside its core is setting off alarm bells in quiet corners of the scientific world. A heat signature. Not a flicker, but a steady, inexplicable warmth emanating from deep within. This single discovery breaks our understanding of comets and opens the door to possibilities that are, to put it mildly, terrifying. The comet isn't just a rock, it's active. Anomaly in the void. You see, for most of human history, the space between the stars was thought to be an impossible distance, an empty void. But now we know our solar system has visitors. First, there was Oumuamua in 2017, the strange, cigar-shaped object that tumbled past us. Then came Borisov in 2019, a more familiar-looking comet from another star. And now there's a third. Designated 3I Atlas, this object was picked up by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, the same network that finds thousands of near-Earth objects. But this one was different. Its path was all wrong. It wasn't in orbit around our sun. It came from the outside, from the darkness, on a journey that has lasted for millions, maybe billions of years. To understand why this is so important, you have to know what a comet is. Many people are crazy about the beautiful tales they produce, but the heart of a comet, the nucleus, is one of the simplest things in the universe. It's a dirty snowball, a loose collection of ice, dust, and frozen gases like carbon dioxide and methane all packed together. These are leftovers from the formation of solar systems, kicked out into the interstellar deep freeze. The most shocking fact is that the core temperature of a comet in deep space is unimaginably cold, hovering just a few degrees above absolute zero zero, around minus 450 degrees Fahrenheit. They are geologically, and for all purposes, dead. They only become active when they get close to a star whose heat makes the ices boil off into space, creating the famous glowing coma and tail. What many overlooked is that we have incredible tools for studying these objects. NASA has a fleet of space telescopes, some of which see the universe not in visible light, but in infrared. Infrared is simply the light of heat. Telescopes like the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope and the NEOWISE mission are designed to scan the skies for the faint heat signatures of cold, dark objects. They can tell us how big a comet is, what its surface is made of, and how much dust it's kicking up. It's a standard, routine process. When 3I Atlas was detected, these infrared eyes were turned toward it to get a better look. And that's when the impossible happened. The initial readings came back, and at first, everything looked normal. The data showed a dark, cold object, just as expected. Its surface temperature was exactly what the models predicted for an object at its distance from the sun. But not all things are what they seem. As the astronomers refined the data and filtered out the background noise of the cosmos, a pattern emerged. It was a signal so faint it was almost missed, but it was undeniably there. It wasn't coming from the surface. It was coming from inside. Deep inside the nucleus of 3I Atlas, NASA's infrared sensors detected a stable, localized heat source, a tiny patch of warmth in a place that should be uniformly frozen solid. This discovery is, to put it mildly, a complete game changer. A comet does not generate its own heat. It has no internal engine. The only heat it gets is from a nearby star. But 3I Atlas was still far out in the colder reaches of the solar system, and this heat was internal. The reading suggested a temperature of around minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit in a localized spot deep within the core. While that's still incredibly cold to us, it's over 150 degrees warmer than the surrounding material. It meant something inside the comet was actively producing energy. The astronomers checked and rechecked their data. It had to be a mistake, an instrument glitch, or a reflection from another object. But every test came back positive. The ghost in the dark was real. This single piece of data changed 3I Atlas from a scientific curiosity into a profound mystery.
erasing the explanations. When a discovery is made that seems to violate the known laws of physics, the first reaction in the scientific community is always the same. The discovery is wrong. The data from 3II Atlas was immediately flagged as a probable sensor malfunction or a misinterpretation of the telemetry. The thing nobody tells you is that space is filled with radiation and strange phenomena that can create ghost signals in sensitive equipment. The teams responsible for the infrared telescope went to work, running every diagnostic they could think of. They recalibrated the sensors. They had other telescopes, both on the ground and in space, try to confirm the reading. They reviewed every single line of code in the analysis software. The result of all this work was deeply unsettling. The signal was not an error. It was persistent, it was stable, and it was coming from the exact same point relative to the comet's center of mass, even as the object rotated. This meant the heat source was fixed, deep inside the nucleus. The data was real. So, if the data was right, the science had to be wrong, or at least incomplete. The next step was to find a natural explanation, no matter how exotic. Every astrophysicist with an interest in the object started throwing out theories, trying to find a box that this strange observation could fit into. The first and most obvious idea was radioactive decay. If, by some cosmic fluke, a large concentration of radioactive elements, like uranium or thorium, had been incorporated into the comet's core when it formed, their slow decay could generate heat. And you can see this everywhere in our own planet. The Earth's core is hot because of this very process. But the idea was quickly dismissed. Comets are made of the lightest, most common elements in the universe. Water, ice, carbon, nitrogen. Heavy radioactive elements are incredibly rare. For enough of them to end up in one spot to generate a detectable heat signature from millions of miles away, the concentration would have to be unlike anything ever seen. The numbers just didn't work. What about a chemical reaction? Some scientists proposed that maybe there was a pocket of highly reactive, exotic materials trapped inside. Perhaps two chemicals kept separate by ice for billions of years had finally come into contact due to a shift inside the comet, starting a slow exothermic or heat-producing reaction. This was more plausible. The issue here, though, was the stability of the signal. A chemical reaction would likely be volatile. It would flare up and die down, or the heat would spread out. The signature from 3I Atlas was rock steady. It was constant, like a machine running at a steady hum. Furthermore, any chemical reaction powerful enough to last for the thousands or millions of years of its interstellar journey would have consumed the entire comet long ago. Then came the most desperate theories. Could it be trapped heat? Perhaps the comet passed close to a star hundreds of thousands of years ago, and a pocket of gas or liquid deep inside was superheated and then insulated by the outer layers of ice. It's a fascinating idea, but it violates the second law of thermodynamics. Heat always dissipates. There is no perfect insulator in the universe. Over the immense timescales of interstellar travel, any trapped heat would have radiated away into the cold of space. The most shocking fact is that after months of work, every single attempt to explain the warm core of 3I Atlas using known physics had failed. Every natural explanation had been ruled out, leaving only one terrifying possibility on the table. A message in the heat. With the failure of every conventional explanation, a chilling new hypothesis began to be whispered in the halls of astronomy departments and research labs. It was a theory so profound, so paradigm-shifting, that most were unwilling to say it out loud. What if the heat source wasn't natural? What if it was artificial? This single thought changes everything. It reframes 3I Atlas from a lump of rock and ice into something else entirely. It suggests the comet could be a vehicle, a probe, a piece of technology hiding in the perfect camouflage. Many people are crazy about the idea of alien life, but it's often imagined as flying saucers or radio signals. The thing nobody tells you is that a far more logical way for an advanced civilization to explore the galaxy would be to use stealth. To send out autonomous probes disguised as common celestial objects, like asteroids or comets. These probes could travel for millions of years, powered down and inert, waiting until they enter a promising star system. The heat signature inside 3I Atlas 
could be the first sign of such a probe systems coming online. It could be a power source, perhaps a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, much like the ones that power our own deep space probes like Voyager, but far more advanced. Or to put it mildly, it could be the heat signature of a dormant engine now warming up as it approaches our sun. This idea immediately brings to mind the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua. That object baffled scientists with its strange behavior. It was shaped like a cigar or a pancake, and it accelerated away from the sun in a way that couldn't be explained by simple outgassing. Many astronomers, including the then chair of Harvard's astronomy department, Avi Loeb, seriously proposed that Oumuamua could have been an alien artifact, perhaps a solar sail, but the evidence was ambiguous. Now with 3 Eye Atlas, we have a different kind of anomaly, but one that points in the same unsettling direction. Oumuamua acted weird. 3 Eye Atlas feels weird thermodynamically. It has a feature that by all rights shouldn't be there. What many overlooked is that these two visits could be related. Could Oumuamua have been a scout and 3 Eye Atlas something more substantial? This line of thinking opens up a universe of possibilities. An object like this could be a Bracewell probe, a theoretical type of autonomous spacecraft designed to find and make contact with intelligent life. It would travel silently between stars, and upon entering a system with a life-bearing planet, it would power up its systems to observe and perhaps to communicate. The internal heat could be the first sign of this awakening, or maybe its purpose is far less friendly. We have no way of knowing. The most shocking fact is, we're no longer just dealing with a scientific puzzle. We're facing a scenario that has, until now, been the exclusive domain of science fiction. The comet wasn't just passing through, it was now a target of intense scrutiny. Watching and waiting. So for people watching this, you might be wondering if something this big is happening, why isn't it all over the news? If NASA found potential evidence of alien technology in our solar system, why the silence? You see, this is where the mystery moves from the astronomical to the political. Are we missing a key detail? The most important detail is that a discovery of this magnitude would be the most highly classified secret on Earth, almost instantly. The thing is, the official story about 3 Eye Atlas would remain unchanged. Publicly, it would be just another interesting interstellar comet. The data about its internal heat signature would be buried under layers of national security classification. Why? Because the confirmation of an artificial object of unknown origin and capability entering our solar system would cause unimaginable chaos. Financial markets would collapse. Religions would be thrown into crisis. Global panic and instability would be almost guaranteed. No government on Earth would want to deal with that fallout, so the first protocol would be absolute secrecy. Behind that wall of silence, an unprecedented scientific effort would be underway. Every single powerful telescope on and off the planet would be retasked. The James Webb Space Telescope would stare at it, analyzing the chemical composition of any gases it vents for signs of artificial byproducts. The world's largest radio telescopes, from the Allen Telescope Array to China's FAST Telescope, would be listening intently for any signal, any whisper of communication. Its trajectory would be calculated down to the millimeter to see if it makes any course corrections, the smoking gun that would prove it is under intelligent control. What many overlooked is that this isn't about one possibility. It's about a spectrum of them. On one end, there is the chance that this is all a cosmic coincidence, that 3 I Atlas represents a new unknown class of celestial object with a natural heating mechanism we simply don't understand yet that would still be a Nobel Prize winning discovery. But on the other end of that spectrum is the reality that this object is a piece of technology and we have no idea what it is for, who sent it, or what it will do next. Is it a peaceful messenger or is it a weapon? Is it just passing by or is our planet its destination? We have no answers. The truth is, this is a waiting game. The heat signature proves something inside the comet is active. The laws of physics say it shouldn't be. The gap between those two facts is where the mystery lies. It's a quiet, cold, and terrifying puzzle tumbling out of the darkness and heading our way. Is this comet a freak of nature or a silent visitor that has finally woken up? Let us know your theory below and don't forget to like and subscribe.